<laughs> What's up everyone? It's also post today. I'm gonna show you how to make basses like stucker and it sounds something like this <laughs> Oh my god, have you heard that? I mean, I'll, I'll play the bass all by itself. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like, guys. It has been a long requested video, so leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And you can get this from Patreon. Check out Tentacle Sounds to get similar basses like this from Primal. That's the best pack to get. Before we start, this bass is not inspired by any specific song by Stucker. Um, I just listened to a few songs and I tried to reference some of them and just this came out. Maybe one bass that is similar to this is probably uh, Stucker Fuck Off with Chris Krishon. Croissant. I don't think many people realize that on my website there is a free sample pack section where you can download free previews of all the packs that I have on my website. Five free presets, ten free presets for absolute free. You don't have to pay anything. And then you can check them out, preview them, use them for your songs. And then if you feel like, you know what, I want to get the full pack of this uh, shit. I, I, I like the demo, I want to get the full pack. Then you can go back to the website and you can buy it. First step, you want to put this on basic shapes. You feel me like that. Then uh, we're going to put this on second shape and you're going to FM from B. So uh, you want to put that on 31% and uh, put the level all the way down. LFO is going to automate this level and uh, LFO on the, le on the FM from B. You're going to put that on 6 Six, you want to put it on like that. Cool. Then you're going to put the unison on four. And um, we can go and activate oscillator B now. So oscillator B, it's going to have the thing on mirror here. WTPOS, I think. No, it's uh, warp. Warp menu. You want to put that on the mirror. Level all the way down because you're FMing from B. And here you want to put this octave on minus 2. And you're going to leave it on default. You don't want to change that. Then a mirror is going to go on 32%. And LFO on the mirror. And that's going to go on 29. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So, then the filter, you want to activate that as well. And uh, filter is going to have combs here. Uh, something different this time. I always go to effects, but I've just this time I'm going to put it here. And um, here, what you want to do is put this cutoff on 36. Like that. Then you want to put an LFO on the cutoff and put it on minus 5. Like that. And um, you're going to take this reso and put it on 43%. I'm going to type that shit in. LFO on the reso, mm, 13. Plus 13, not minus. Oh, my God. There you go. Then um, LFO on that reso as well. Oh, wait, we already did that. <laughs> the drive, you want to increase it to 18. Cool. So that's really all you got to do here. And now it's just uh, the noise here as well. And you're going to take the, take it all the way down. Put the LFO here. It doesn't really matter. You can put it on like 12. doesn't really matter that much. Then the sub. That's really what made this sound. And that's what I'm starting to do a lot more in my basses. Adding sub onto basses and distorting the bass. It really, really makes an awesome rhythm bass. Always. So minus three on this octave. If you put it on minus three, the sub, it really makes it all fucking cool. Then 94 here. And you don't want to automate it so it clicks. Like you don't want to put an LFO on the level of the sub. Uh, you want to leave it like this, actually. Some of you might be surprised by that, but trust me. Trust me. And um, LFO is going to be on ENV. And um, one over four. And then it's going to be shaped kind of like this. Something like this. 
and then you want to just fade this out a little bit and then slightly just increase it like that and that's it if you want to change it to make it into a constant bass then you can just do something like this basically and that sounds cool as fuck as well if i play it to you now let me just put on single and you, i can't play it because why why can i not play it midi there you go We're not done yet, so don't worry. Uh, so I'm just gonna put it back as to what it was before. That's what it's gonna sound like now. Uh, so now we can move on to the effects. And um, in the effects section, also LFO tool, let's just quickly do that as well. So that's gonna be for later. You wanna shape it like this. That's it. So in the effects sections, hyper dimension you're not gonna use, distortion, diode one, and you wanna put it on PRE. Then you wanna put this, uh, leave it as it is actually, and then put this all the way up H on H HP. And then here, you're gonna put it on 75. And then here you're gonna put it on 0 0.9. And it's already kind of starting to sound like it should sound, right? It's already kind of getting that taste to it. So now we got to shape it more with a compressor. And I started like realizing that less effects is better sometimes actually. Multiband and then 141. It's not about less effects. It's about adding the right effects to the right sound. In this particular example... You, you just kind of, um, I wanted to make something cool and strong, rhythm sounding, and a compressor and distortion and sub made it sound like I wanted it to sound. 130 on the mids, 146 on the low. I wanted a lot of low end, so um, I really tried to increase it with this. Attack all the way down. I just kind of have similar settings on all compressors like this. Increase some gain, and that's what... Maybe even more. And that's what it should sound like. Really brings out all the frequencies now. And then an EQ to like shape it up a little bit. Increase the high slightly. Just slightly. And then here I just did something like this. Basically. Which doesn't really do that much of a difference. Like just a very free subtle thing. 3 or 2 dB will do. Brings it up a little bit more. So now... Matrix, LFO2, Global Master Tune, make it go one way, and then you want to put it onto 4, uh, like this, and um, ENV as well, makes it move up a little bit. So now the post processing is another step. <laughs> I'm gonna show all of you motherfuckers how to do it. So I just got uh, an OTT, one OTT, and some reverb, which is very subtle reverb. So um, let me just paste it here so you can see everything. So I added an OTT, and those are the settings. So out gain and this, change this, and uh, copy the settings here. Uh, basically and it should sound like this so far sounds pretty fucking savage already and it's very simple this shit and if you don't have OTT it's for free from Google you can just find it and reverb I use the kilohertz reverb but you can use the Ableton reverb or if you're using FL studio even you can use any reverb doesn't matter which one and just try to copy the settings, make them very low and subtle. Um, I definitely figured out that reverb makes it less compressed and less in your face. And if you add a compressor after reverb, it's going to fuck it up. So don't even try. Um, the only thing that you can possibly do to fix that is put very low settings on reverb like this. Um, and then you can possibly use some EQ to like make it a little bit louder and... That's really it. Or you can try to use more two OTTs, but I just recommend using very subtle settings on the reverb and without the reverb. 
It's a lot, it's like dry and in your face and it's pretty cool sounding like that. But reverb, it just gives it that juice. In the whole drop with everything, all the instruments, it really blends in. So that's, that's what, it's like painting a picture, you know? That's all it is. So that's really it for this video. And as I said, you can get this from Patreon. Uh, the whole preset is there on Patreon. And this project as well will be on Patreon. $5 a month and you get access to all my bass remakes there. See you all next time.